Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be creating a trash can um, that you might see in the park for our FPS game. Last time we created a water hydrant and you can go check that out in the playlist. We're going to make something like this. Probably it's going to have two materials since I need one for the wood part and one for the trash, trash can part. This is uh, actually quite simple so let's do it. Let me just tell you this is not the best way to do it. I think this is the simplest way to do it. First we need the tra first we need the trash can part so we'll just press shift A and add a cylinder in here and if you press T or if you already have this side panel opened you can change the number of vertices down to something like 12 you can go for 10 8 whatever you like I'll go with 12 and now I can press 1 and 5 to go into front of the graphic view on my numpad of course and then press tab G and Z to move it on the Z axis and you can see that we're not uh, snapping onto the grid so you can press you can right click to to stop um, transforming it press shift tab to enable snap drawing transform and then press G and Z again and you will have it here I'll press S shift Z to scale it down on the X and Y axis like this something like this will work and then I will select this top part with uh, C or circle select tool and just select this whole part and now I'll press G and Z to bring it a bit down this is a great start now we need a wooden plank so we can place it on the side I will press shift A while in edit mode and add in a new cube this will be our plank press G and Z to move it uh, a bit up press S shift Z to scale it like this and something like this seems fine I'll press S and Y to scale on the Y axis so it's a bit thinner and S and X to make it a bit wider like this now I can press 7 on my numpad to go into uh, top view and now I can take this and uh, start moving it I will move one right here press shift D to move another one here so I just duplicated it and placed it there now I can take another one press R Z and then 90 to rotate it on this side place one here shift D place one here now we got the ones on the side but we need uh, these ones here in in between I'll press shift D on one of them and just place it here press R Z to rotate it to a rotation that works and for this part I recommend you turn off snap during transform because it doesn't really help so just place it here whatever you think uh, looks fine another one place it here I'm using these vertices as a pivot point of some sort and then you can select these two in between by pressing L while hovering hovering over the, them and now press shift D to duplicate RZ 180 so I rotated uh, 180 degree degrees on the Z axis and I will just move it here and that works perfect press it one more time but this time rotated for 90 degrees only and put it here and now rotate again for duplicate and rotate uh, for um, 180 degrees so just press RZ and 180 something like this now this is a bit too high up I think they're a bit too tall so I'll just press Z to go into uh, wireframe mode C uh, for circle select tool select this top part and just move it down something like this but we still need the part where you put the trash in so I'll just go control tab and go into face select mode or do it down here select this face extrude with E S to scale to about here E to extrude and then press G and Z to move it down now if you go into wireframe mode with Z you can see the the thing so just move it down so it is here and also I like to press S shift Z to scale on the Z axis or uh, X and Y sorry and now I have it a bit thinner at the bottom now let's add some materials go to the materials tab add two new materials one will be the wood and the second one will be um, a black I'll just call it black because it will be a black color 
So just hover over the middle part and press L to select it, select the black material and assign. Now change the name and then press RX minus 90. With Control A apply the location, rotation and scale. Press RX 90 again to bring it back. This is just so we can import it into Unity and it will work much better. File, save as, I will save it as trash. I'll just save it as tra trash. And then file, export FBX as trash. Click selected objects down here and apply the scale, export FBX. That's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and make sure you subscribe. Also, you can go follow me on my social media and my Patreon. That'd be very nice of you. And hopefully, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.